Has your communication with others been as challenging at times as climbing a mountain, facing all kinds of headwind, never being able to reach the summit? When you say to yourself, man, I think I'm communicating clearly, how come they just don't get me? Well, interestingly enough, my colleague Tammy Bond and I were asked to present at the Cybersecurity Futures Foundation. And what came up in conversation was the need for more effective communication in that space. They actually used the term gibberish. We all smiled about that, but it was very, very telling because the technologists need to be able to communicate with the governing bodies. They need to be able to communicate with the ops folks in the organizations. They need to be able to communicate with the attorneys. They need to be able to communicate with educators as we're trying to protect our youth from cyber, from cyber attacks in the social channels. So that said, what I want to do is help you uh, neutralize the gibberish and give you three tools for effective communication. First is to practice the said, heard rule. So when you express your thought to someone, ask that person to, to express to you in return what they translated. You know, this is what I said, what did you hear? Said, heard. The next is to practice one of Stephen Covey's successful habits, and that is to seek to understand first and then to be understood. What you want to do is put yourself in that individual's shoes so you know where they're coming from in order to drive effective communication. And then lastly, appreciate diversity of thought. Hold others in the highest possible regard because diversity of thought is going to help you move towards innovative solutions in families, uh, with friends, or in organizations. So again, just to recap, said, heard, seek first to understand and then be understood. And then lastly, make sure that you appreciate diversity of thought, holding one another in the highest possible regard. Enjoy the communication journey.